Hi, my name is Drew. I'm going to read a story for you today. This is a traditional Japanese room. Over here, you can see the Butsudan. This is a Buddhist altar. You can also see some artwork and some flowers, as well as a traditional paper screen door. Today's story is called The Napping House by Audrey Wood. The illustrations are done by Don Wood. Let's take a look. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, <laughs> there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Can you imagine sleeping with a dog on top of you? No, thank you. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, ouch, who scares the cat, meow, <laughs> who claws the dog, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed in the napping house where no one now is sleeping. The end. That's called The Napping House by Audrey Wood with illustrations by Don Wood. I really like this story. The illustrations are beautiful. And the story reminds me of, what is that story? The Great Turnip, where the granny and the grandpa are pulling at the turnip trying to get it out of the ground. It's a very cute story, just like this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I think it's time for me to go. Thank you very much for reading with me today. Have a nice night.